Okay, thank you very much to the organizers uh, to allow me to give this talk and to give them the possibility of knowing this amazing place and I'm very happy to, to be here. And uh, I put here uh, a picture of my place. I mean, this is the University of the State of Rio de Janeiro. As you can see, uh, it's very, very near Maracanã Stadium that by now is a very busy place, very crowded. And for this reason, my university is closed uh, up to the end of the work, you know. And, <coughs> okay, today uh, uh, Argentina is working that this uh, it is still uh, my team because I'm Argentinian, although I, I work in Brazil. And, okay, but <coughs> today I, I would like to talk about some uh, work that we are doing in collaboration with the Dwight Franklin at University, uh, University of Illinois at the Grand Champagne. And uh, it's about <coughs> uh, the role of uh, anis anisotropies in some high TC superconductors. And, uh, well, uh, I mean, we have several, uh, I mean, experimental evidence that uh, anisotropies uh, have, uh, I mean, an important role, uh, at least in the, in the top phase of uh, high TC superconductor and uh, principal in uh, the pseudogram phase. And, uh, you know, oh, sorry. Um, we have, I mean, stack co 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 relations in cuprate oxide are by now well, well established. And uh, <laughs> you find a very, very funny effect near uh, doping 1A that you, you can see uh, a the coupling in the sense that the system is superconducting in the plane, but it's a very bad metal in, in, in the perpendicular direction of the plane. And this effect is strongly temperature dependent. So uh, you can see this effect at the same temperature that you are seeing uh, charge density wave or spin density wave. Uh, also, uh, this is a nice experiment uh, of Nernst effect that you can see a strong in-plane anisotropy uh, that develops at a temperature that is exactly the same as the pseudogap temperature. So uh, all this, I mean, uh, experimental evidence are showing us that anisotropy is, is, is playing some role at, at, at this phase. And one way to, at least, to interpret all, all this uh, phenomenon terminology is to propose that not only charge density wave or spin density wave, but also the superconducting or the parameter is striped. I mean, is, uh, is forming a pair density wave in a sense that all or the parameters are intertwined. And uh, this, <coughs> this pair density wave was proposed in this paper by Ver, Frank, and Kibelson. Uh, and I mean, this is I mean, this is the simplest order parameter uh, PDW order parameter that I can show you. It is formed essentially by two complex order parameters that I'm, <coughs> I'm labeling, but plus Q and minus Q. And you know, uh, this superconducting phase uh, has a, a modulation with a vector, wave vector Q. And in the sense, I mean. The symmetry of this solid parameter is very similar to FFLO state, however, have different origin. I mean, in this solid parameter, I don't need to break time reversal environment and I don't need a uh, mismatch of some uh, Fermi uh, But the symmetries are essentially the same. Uh, I mean, just for simplicity, you can think that uh, uh, the mo modules of the, order, the two order parameters are the same, and in this way you can rewrite this whole parameter showing uh, essentially two phases. Uh, one is uh, the superconducting phase, and the other, way, th the other phase is the, uh, what we call smective uh, displacement. I mean, this is, is measuring how you deform the, this, this paradigm. So, uh, well, uh, but essentially, th in this work, I, uh, I want to show you what happens if you assume that you have this ordered parameter in the ground state and you 
put temperature and what happened with the, with the phase diagrams of this, of this type of order. And uh, the first thing to do is to understand what kind of topological effect you have in this, in this system. And of course, since the, odd, I mean, the two order parameters should be single value, the, uh, the phase is defined uh, modulo to pi. This implies that the superconducting phase and this magnetic displacement is defined modulo to pi. So <coughs> uh, you can label the, the topological effect by, by this topological charge that, that it could be an integer or a semi-integer. And if you look at these charges, uh, you realize that you, you can have three, type, uh, three types of topological effects. One is the usual vortices, is one zero. The other double dislocations, that is zero one, it's related with filament phase. And the other one are half vortices coupled to single dislocation, which is one half, one half. Um, okay, so, uh, the question is, what, which is the phase diagram when, when you term and melt this 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 uh, this order? And uh, this is the phase diagram that was shown in this in this paper. That essentially, since you have three different types of of, of uh, topological effect, depending on of what type of topological effect you condense, you have essentially three phase transition. For instance, if you <laughs> Condense or unbind uh, vortices, you end up with a charge density wave. I mean, you kill superconductivity and you, you end up with a, with a charge density wave. On the other hand, if you condense half vortices with single di 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 dislocation, again, you kill superconductivity, and <coughs> but remains an order that is uh, an orientational order and is homogeneous but has an orientational order, so we call them. Kappa, what is kappa? Oh, kappa is, is, is the stiffness of the uh, charge density wave. And this is, well, uh, on the other hand, I mean, th this, this phase that, that, that we found very interesting, that is very small here, is that this, if you uh, unbind uh, these locations, uh, you end up with Strange superconducting phase that is pneumatic because it has orientational um, order and it has double the charge of the usual uh, of the usual superconductor. And okay, okay, this this uh, mm, this phase diagram was built supposing that this PDW, this charge density well, is is locked at some direction, for instance, of the lattice. You can ask. What happens if you allow for fluctuations of this of this type of I mean fluctuation of the pneumatics? And we did this calculation in, in this paper. Uh, that essentially what we did is uh, if you consider this Q is is, is the order vector, uh, we we put essentially a potential that has the symmetry of the lattice. In in this case, is is is, is a square lattice. And here you have <laughs> the strength of the barriers. That this, these strengths are put in a new scale. I mean, that this we, we, we label a TH is a temperature. That if, if you are under this temperature, the stripes are locked in some direction of, uh, uh, of the lattice. However, if you are above this, uh, this temperature, the, uh, the stripes are strongly fluctuating. I mean, you're, they're essentially decoupled from, from, from the lattice. And we show that the topology of the phase diagram is strongly dependent on this, of this temperature. Uh, if this temperature, TH, is, is in high, that, that you have essentially this phase diagram is the same that I show you, I mean, the same, the same topology. However, if this temperature is, is smaller, uh, look, above this temperature, you, have, uh, you cannot break translation invariance. So, uh, PDW is, you shrink the PDW to the, uh, I mean, you, uh, PDW is not favored at what we call the pneumatic superconductor is enhanced. And in the extreme limit of TH goes to zero, that means if you have no lattice, uh, PDW just exists 
only as, as, as a ground state because the topology in effect have finite energy, so they proliferate uh, essentially kill the, kill the order. And you see that this pneumatic phase, you also kill this, this, this pneumatic phase, and this is very interesting. This is because in this phase, uh, the vortices and this uh, disclinations are bounded, so you cannot unbound vortices in one uh, in one way and disclination the other. You need to condense both of them. Okay, this this is essentially the result of this paper, and in the rest of the talk, I will show you the, the theory that we we build that to 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 compute this 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 phase diagrams. So. <laughs> Essentially, we have these four the parameters. I mean, uh, you have the PDW essentially uh, uh, characterized by two phases, the superconductor and the, and the smack displacement. And of course, if you can combine this, this, this order in, in, uh, in, in a quadratic form to form essentially charges, you have what we call the 4E superconductor. And in the background, we also have this nematicity that is uh, implying that you have some uh, orientation on order. Uh, okay, so the first thing to do is to uh, write the Lando theory. This is standard. I mean, just you couple all the other parameters and all the ways you, 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 that, that symmetry allows. You, know. uh, you have essentially the the quadratic terms, the quartic terms, and you also have a cubic term that is very interesting because this cubic term is locking some phases. I mean, this is, for instance, the phase of the charge density wave, and it's locked to two times the phase of the speed W. And this, for instance, is the phase of the 4E superconductor, and it's locking, it's locked to two times uh, the PDW. And, uh, okay, this is Landau theory, but the the point is how to make Lando useful. I mean, how, how, how we can introduce uh, pneumatic fluctuations in that. I mean, how about the derivatives of this? And, uh, okay, for, to, to do this, uh, oops. in fact, we inspired in the Macmillan Deschamps theory for liquid crystals that uh, essentially has the same symmetry. You know, uh, uh, I mean, if you have some order parameter that is some wave, I mean, could be charged as a wave or, or some uh, symmetric order. Uh, you can couple with pneumatic fluctuation in this way, this is a covalent derivative. Uh, you see that the pneumatic fluctuation is playing the role of, 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 of a gauge field. Uh, and also the pneumatic fl fluctuation uh, induce fluctuation of the metric. So at the end of the story, you have this type of, of uh, free energy, but this is very similar to a field theory in the gravitational theory, I mean, in the cool space. I mean, this is the metric and this is the dynamic of the metric. And, well, this is, this is very well known. This is Magdalene Deschamps from Lindy Crystal, uh, written in, in another way, but this is the same theory. Uh, we use, essentially, this, 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 uh, this concept to, uh, to write the theory for uh, charge density wave, PDW, and 4E, or the, uh, the, the, uh, the 4E superconductor, couple with pneumatics through these covalent derivatives that couple with, of, of course, with the electromagnetic field and with the fluctuations of, of the pneumatic. And then you have uh, the usual elastic theory for the frank free energy for, for pneumatics. And we add this potential that is Essentially, locking the PDW with with the with the with the lattice. Okay, this is the theory. I mean, you can compute a lot of things. It's, it's a complex theory. I will show you some mm, some results and some uh, perhaps the, the simplest one. I mean, uh, for instance, if you if you if you are if you are deep in the PDW, I mean, this is essentially a longer approximation. I put constant all the modules and I focus on the phases. You can integrate over all the fluctuations, and you arrive to, to an isotropic XY models, one for the superconducting phase and the other uh, for the symmetric fluctuations. And uh, 
the, the stiffness of the of the um, of the symmetric phase is uh, controlled by this potential that that, that is locked into the PW well with 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 with, with the lattice. So essentially, with this two x y, you you can build up all the phase diagram. Okay. Why is the special curl a squared is missing? Squared. So uh, why uh, curl a squared is missing in the upper plane? Uh, a squared. Curl a squared. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, so no. There is no b squared term. The a squared, sir. No b. B. The curl a squared. Square. So if you include your 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 number uh, your the the n squared, but there is no prop uh, your a squared term. If you have a, is it is, but not your a. What is it? What is it? Is it? The magnetic field you are saying, the yeah, color yeah. of a. Yeah. No, I I I mean here I forgot, it, but when uh, when. When I integrate over, over over the magnetic field here, I put it the the, the gauge field equal to zero. Just 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 for simplicity, just to just to so show that. Yeah. I mean, I can put it here if you want. I mean, I, uh, okay. <laughs> the other phase, I mean, what we call the four E superconductor. Uh, I mean, if you integrate o integrate over the other dimensional of freedom, you find essentially this stuff again two x y models i mean this alpha is the phase of, of the reactor theta is the phase of, of the superconductor however they are coupled in this way i mean this this couple comes from the matrix and this is gradient of theta is essentially the, 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 the current and n is the director of, of the matrix you see that this this type of of of, of interaction this, this is positive so <coughs> in order to, to minimize this, you have vortex and you have disclinations with M that this term produce an, an attractive force that in, uh, this is like a gravitational force. I mean, you, you can put away uh, the disclinations and the vortices. And for this reason, if, if you, uh, you kill that, that term in the pneumatic that I showed you before. OK. Uh, what else? Well, the difficult part of this is the, is the word that uh, we are trying to write in this in these days uh, is what about the fermionic properties? I mean, what what about uh, fermions in this in this in this system? And the way we can treat it is just to couple fer oops, I'm sorry uh, to to couple fermions with the PDW or the parameter, and for instance, compute uh, the order parameter in, term, in terms of fermion. So if you have, in the PDW phase, you have essentially Q pairs condensed with, with, with momentum Q. And if you mm -hmm. compute, for instance, self-energy, you find a Fermi, source, a Fermi surface that has a pocket, of course, without gap, and you, has, uh, uh, you have a fully gap in the perpendicular direction. However, the, I mean, the, the, the interesting point is this uh, is this phase, the Fourier superconducting <coughs> phase, where the Cooper pairs are strongly fluctuating. I mean, are not condensate. What you have is a condensate of four fermions and, and not two. I mean, in this case, this, this is the phase, this is the pneumatic superconductor that we are talking about. And this is, I mean, this is superconductor because you are, you are breaking gauge invariance. But you don't break a quadratic order. You are breaking a quadratic order. If you compute self-energy, you see that you have a full fer a reconstruction. I mean, you have a full Fermi surface without any gap. I mean, however, if you compute density of a state that are strongly suppressed, and uh, I mean on the Fermi surface, so the I mean, we claim or we we hope that this kind of phases. Uh, it could be very useful to describe uh, some properties of the pseudocapitalists. So, uh, well, the summary is essentially what uh, I just tell you, but perhaps uh, the real motivation to, to, to study stripes in real scenario is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for your attention. Well,
Which one does Chad, it Chad, so, Chad uh, is the way? Yeah. No, no, no. Exit for with e. Charge uh, 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 for e. What? Uh, uh, so if you have, uh, if you add curl a squared, uh, not uh, nominally, curl a squared, nominally if you are in two dimensions, uh, you eliminate uh, charge for e uh, superconductor uh, when it fails, if you are in two dimensions. But I can imagine that uh, you can uh, get around it uh, easily, like uh, consider you find its superconductor effects of stray fields. Uh, yeah, I understand what you're yeah. saying. Do you, do you have some uh, quantitative argument in favor of that? Uh, uh, is, it, is it the reason why you drop curl A squared? No, I didn't think about it. Yeah, I mean, you say, you say that if you put here no, no, not here. No, B, no, no, B no, square, no, I will no, kill no, for no, a superconductor, no, right? Not, not this, not this one. Yes, if you, the easiest way is to have this London, London model. Ah, yeah, London model. Yeah, 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 this, this London model. Oh, here, yeah. Uh, so maybe, uh, maybe it was... But this is the PDW phase. Huh? I mean, this is the PDW phase. Okay. That yeah, yeah, is yeah, no yeah, problem yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I uh, the 4E appears when do this clean air, uh, with, with you unbind the, the, the vortices. And it's, it's, it's right. I, I don't know why you are saying that uh, the phase doesn't exist. I mean, uh, yeah, maybe that's something you can discuss. Uh, yeah. because it sounds very yeah. Yeah. Well, Let's just go with the next uh, uh, one. Yes, one good question. So you say that you, you can have condensation of four fermions. Um, sure, sure. Uh, and then my question is that uh, is it possible that this is related to some sort of phase coherence or is something more related to the gap? Because you mentioned that you only see that in the local density of states or something. Yeah, we have no gap in this in, yeah, the, in, the, in the this way. I mean, you have a, a, a reduction of, of the density of the state, but it's, it's but not, it's not a gap. But is it related to superfluidity, this condensation? I mean, is it is related to some phase coherence or not? Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, so yeah. that means that if you do experiment, you, you should see some sort of uh, superfluidity. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would like to, to mention first that these pair density waves in the single channel they are usually called eta pairing, and they were well known in the literature in the 80s, uh, uh, and also in the if they are in the triplet pair uh, channel, they are these pi triplet phases. Okay, okay. okay yeah. the, 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 they are also known from the yeah. 80s. Yeah, they so are very similar to F of the law, so. Uh, yeah, the, these are staggered spectroactive states. Sure. Yeah. So it is, uh, the point is that also it is, uh, uh, we had, uh, uh, published that with Peter Littlewood that when you have uh, a charge density wave with particle color symmetry yeah. and, uh, and uh, then uh, you have a D-wave superconductor, then you have necessarily an interpairing state that emerges in the case of the spin density wave, this is a five triplet, in the case of the yeah, charge yeah. density wave, it is an interpairing. <coughs> so these are necessarily all the parameters that are generated that are missing from your effective gains with your doubt. And yeah. of course, the new thing that they have implemented there, Pratkin and collaborators, is this uh, to implement this eta pairing, so to say, alone okay. with a charge density wave and then with this exotic four fermion pair. Sure. So yeah. this is yeah. in some sense. I agree. Uh, yeah. Okay, but, but this is a quite. Yeah. Okay. One more question. You know, once uh, uh, you have these um, two vector fields, I mean, um, Gauge fields, and yes. just a new gauge field. Yes. Why they are not together? I mean, why don't you have just two terms? I mean, one single. No, uh, because uh, they cut them with different differently. I mean, here, yeah. you, you know, the uh, I mean, the 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 pneumatic I mean, the pneumatic fluctuation coupled with uh, with PDW or with chart density wave, but it doesn't couple with uh, with the four E's, because it's homogeneous. I mean, the the delta n just coupled with 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 the wave. I mean, with the with the Okay, I think we better stop here. And we'll kind of speak your way.